Investigation out of that family of three found dead in their home in New Jersey tonight. Police are calling it a case of murder suicide. Cops say the father killed his wife and 15 year old son and then killed himself. The news rattling neighbors in this typically quiet Morris County town of Roxbury. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates is live there with the latest. Tony. And Bill and Sandra, law enforcement officials tell us they have absolutely no record at all of having to make a domestic violence uh, check uh, at that house at any time. They say a family friend requested uh, a wellness check yesterday at the home. Upon arrival, patrol made entry into the residence and discovered a husband, a wife, and a juvenile son, all visibly deceased with what appeared to be gunshot wounds. A devastating discovery. In the early morning hours Tuesday, family issues broke in the Ventricelli home on Justine Place in the worst way imaginable. At this time, law enforcement believed that Peter Ventricelli shot and killed his wife Kelly and his son Anthony. The motive and the circumstances of these heinous acts are under investigation. Kelly Ventricelli worked at the preschool at Hillside Church in the Succasuna section of Roxbury. Peter Ventricelli, Prosecutor Carroll says, was an independent contractor. Their one son, 15-year-old Anthony, was a sophomore at Roxbury High School, where he played football. Because of how he died, we're not showing his picture, but we spoke to a few of Anthony's broken-hearted school friends about who he was. Anthony was such a nice kid, right? He uh, saw my football team in... Uh, he always did what he could to help us, and, uh, you know, it's, it's so sad that he's gone. You couldn't say anything bad about him. He was just, he was the nicest kid ever. I mean, I just, you could, you could be friendly. You didn't even have to know him, and you just knew he was a nice kid. Students decided to wear their school colors, blue and gold, in honor of Anthony. Meanwhile, detectives were back at the home trying to piece together how and why Ventricelli turned the gun on his family and then took his own life. We mourn. Morris County mourns here with this loss. And when we're talking about domestic violence, this is what this matter appears to be. Just Godspeed and keep your prayers for the for the victims of this tragic right. event. Thank you. You can see from Mayor Riley, that community is just shaken by this tragedy. Kelly Ventricelli was 58 years old. Peter Ventricelli was 57. Roxbury High School has called in extra counselors for all of its students. And also on Sunday evening at 7.30, St. Teresa's uh, Catholic Church on Main Street in Roxbury will hold a memorial service for this family.